Hello guys, I'm as addicted here and today I'm going to show you how to build this really really simple medieval house. It is really big but I've tried to keep it simple so it doesn't take hours with the detailing. I can build much be bigger and better than this but it takes hours, it seriously takes hours. And I thought maybe if there's some survival people, you know, they'd want something a little bit different and they can always add their own little touch to it. It's kind of like a template. So on the inside here and make sure you slap that like button it lets me know that you guys like enjoy these videos because i'm quite reluctant to do the bigger ones because uh, i don't get as many views for some reason it's probably because they take ages but anyway yeah so you can add your own little touch to it you can add some bales of hay and uh, loads of like vines and stuff coming off it just to give it that rustic sort of look and um, obviously some logs that are at the side some places for a blacksmith or something like that but yeah, it's just a medieval manor house, I think, or house. Pretty simple, I think it's a really nice idea. So, further ado, let's build this medieval house. So let's build this medieval house. So we're going to start off by putting a cobblestone here. Counting one, two, three, cobblestone. One, two, three, cobblestone. One, two, three, cobblestone. And we're going to go around like that, exactly the same. So one, two, three, cobblestone. One, two, three, cobblestone. So it should be four lots of cobblestone with three lots in the middle so as a square like that so you can pause the video and get ready so we're going to count with one two three one two three and we're going to raise these all up by three so i'll cut out this bit all right so once we've done that we're going to go all the way around like this on each corner put in half stair of the cobblestone so i'll speed this up all right so once we've done that what we're going to do is we'll put an archway in every single one like this so turn it for this one as well. So I'm going to speed this up so they should all look like that. Right, so once you're done, you'll have these beautiful little arches there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our spruce wood and we're literally going to run it around the whole inside of the building like this, making sure that you're missing those bits like that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get our spruce wood out after that and we're going to fill in the windows. So I'm going to speed this bit up. So on the corners like this, we're building it up one, two, one, two. So making sure in between all these, we've got enough space to put two window panes and then we're going to put the window panes in there as well. So I'm going to speed this up. Right, so once we've done that, it should look a little bit like this. So it's looking nice now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our cobblestone and we're going to go like this in the window arches for every single one. So I'm going to speed this up as well. Right, so once you are finished, it should look like this. We've got a bit of depth into our build. It's going to look like that all the way around. So on the inside, what we're going to do is going to get our spruce wood and everywhere where there is a hole. Sorry, I have forgot to fill that in with the paints. Everywhere where there's a hole and a wall, I want you to fill it with spruce now. So I'll speed this up. Right, so once you've done it, it'll look like that inside. So we're not going to focus on that for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put another cobblestone like this all the way around on every single one so i'll speed it up all right so once we've done that it should look like this so what we're going to do is we're going to go up like this we're going to go all the way along and then we're going to stop at this point and then here all the way along and i'll speed this up all right so once we've done that it should look something like this at each corner it's going to be stopped like that so now we're going to fill in this top part up to here and around here filling it all in with the spruce so i'm going to speed this up now right so once it's done it should look a little bit like this if you want to add extra detail in what you can do is just take these out and put these in here so at each point just put them out so wherever these window arches are so i'm going to speed this up real quick all right so once you've done that what we're going to do at each point of this we're going to put them up by one so I'm missing these three and going all the way around so i'll speed this up also you're going to get some white wool and we're just going to put them in between each one of these pieces here. So I'm going to speed this up. All right, so once we're done, it'll look a little bit like that. What we can do is pick an either side. So we'll pick this side maybe. This is where we are going to do the stairway. So we're going to count out one, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to pull this up so it meets like that. And then we're just going to go like that one higher. So it should look like that. Now we can start to fill this in with the spruce just like this and then what we are going to do is we're going to get the spruce stairs we're going to get some uh, spruce fence as well and we're just going to put the spruce stairs there and we can leave that as well that's fine there so now we fill this in with the fence here over here and this bit is where we're going to have our staircase coming down so now you can literally pick any i'm going to use the spruce and we're going to put this down and then we're going to put these blocks going down either side of it 
so like that and then when you get to these points here like this damn 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 no like that we're then gonna fill this in with the cobblestone like that so I'll speed this up right so once you're done it should look a little bit like that you can either leave that staircase in so it'll join into it like that or you can just put the full block it doesn't really matter right so now we're gonna get our little staircase going up we can have it coming out like this and to that point there and then have it up to here so what we can do underneath here we don't have to do this we can take out some and put this going across or just have the one going across here and maybe taking this out and putting it across here or if you want to get into this bit we'll obviously just keep it like that so we can have this bit I'm gonna keep it like this and have a way into the place so maybe just the one across there and then we can just get some fence and just put it across this little bit here if you want to wear add a little bit to the stairs and stuff you can just put a little bit underneath there just so you can still get in and we can get this bit underneath here as well so even though it's covering up the window it'll still look all right you can add the extra bit of wood underneath and do these little wooded bits it doesn't matter it's all preference what you want it to look like kind of thing so now what we are going to do we are going to build this up this side by an extra two and we're going to do the same on the other side one two one two so we're going to get our spruce wood our spruce wood is going to start from here and we're going to go out like this so we can go like that one two three four five so it should be five on this one one two three four five we're going to do the same at the other side as well so starting from here one two three four five go to this other side do the same thing one two three four five if I can make it work so now what we are going to do I am going to put two little I'm going to put a part here so it's going to start from here like this we're going to have another piece here and here and then we're just going to bring these out by an extra one like this and from this point we're going to put them on top and we're going to build them up an extra two so just like that and then we can just join this like this and then underneath we can do the same thing we can fill this in now with the spruce just fill that in there because we're going to have a little staircase roping up there so now what i'm inclined to do is get that little bit out and we're just going to have a little extra balcony just like that and then we're going to get our spruce fence over here so we're going to be looking out from there and we're going to fill these two little bits in with the white wool so when it comes to this roof it's going to get a little bit weird but it's cool so we're going to put this out like that at both sides and then down one more like that so we're going to do the same for this put it out like that and that do the same on the other side as well like that and that very very nice so underneath we're going to keep building it up until these peak at the top just like that and then for the end one we're gonna have a piece of spruce wood that's gonna come out like this like that and then we can have like we're gonna have like a different roof we're gonna have maybe a stone on the top so we can leave that for now so now we're gonna get this roof here and we're gonna join it on from here join it on like that we're gonna do the same at the other side as well so like this and we're just going to keep on following this roof design until we get to the end so like that and then for this one we're going to do the same do the same for the other side i'm going to speed the rest of it up so just like that to there and we're going to do the same for that side where it all joins on until it's the same side and the same for this side as well so adding that extra little bit there so it comes out and then just following the roof round so i'll speed this up now Right, so once you're done it should look a little bit like this so we're now going to start putting these beams across here so we're going to get the spruce wood and we're going to go up by another one here like that and then we're going to join these all the way along until we get to the other side where we can put these beams coming down from here so hopefully that one will go there this one will go up as well to join this side so it's a bit different here and there but it doesn't matter seriously doesn't matter so we can have that up to here and it's obviously going to join to this side 
and it's a lot of wood so if you're doing this in survival well at the end of the day you kind of want your build to look quite nice and you don't want just kind of basic builds all the time so I'm doing a bit more complex builds as well just to kind of mix my channel up and stuff I do do really like small short builds so if you're into that sort of stuff we can do that as well so now we're going to start with a full block of the spruce just like this and then we're going to do it at this side as well all the way along and we're basically going to follow the same pattern until we meet up at the top so now we put a stair on and then we go up diagonal and then another stair on so you're just following the same pattern for both sides and then join them all together so I'll do a little bit more and then I'm just going to literally speed it all up so like that and then same at this side it'll be like you'd obviously need the full so it's a full block then a stair full block then a stair but just like that so I'm going to speed this up join these roof all the way together right so once you've done that it should look a little bit like this so what we're going to do now right if we're going to bring these out by an extra one so on each side we're going to bring all of them out even the stairs and these ones to match up with it as well so these will come down so these will all be the same also so we'll get like an evenly distributed roof so this will come out here as well so all these so i'm going to speed this up right so once you're done it should look like this so as you can see at both sides we've distributed it and it's looking quite nice now so for the top roof what i'm going to do is i'm going to count out one two three for the top and we're just going to put this all the way along i've just taken some speed potion as i'm in uh, creative so i'm going to go all the way along like this and then three times so when it comes to the rooftop here what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these two either side like this and we're going to do the same for this side as well and then what we do is we go like this what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to build up one two and then on the third one um no on the fourth one sorry we do that oh my goodness me no in fact scratch that scratch that man we're gonna do this we're gonna do this so we'll put out another one put it like that and then diagonal just like that so we put out another one put one on top diagonal like that so we're gonna do the same for this one just like that and then back forwards turn like that right so now the front bit we're gonna put one here two one on top and then back so the same for the other side start from here one two turn around and then put it back so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our spruce and we're gonna have it poking out by one two so it should be one overhang so far so you can just put it in you can put it all the way through the middle but if you want to save on resources at the top you can just leave it like that it's just something a little different so now what we're gonna do for all these block parts we'll put them this way so we're gonna put stairs going all the way down like this until you get to that point there where the roof starts to slope down even more so we should have a roof design a little bit like that so we're going to do the same for the other side so on each block we're just putting another stair it's just to give it a little more jagged edges and a little more detail i'll show you how to put a lot more detail into the roof um a little bit later right so so far it's looking pretty fancy right so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our spruce we'll start from here we're going to pull it out until one there and we're going to do the same on the other side as well which i have done let's fill that in there so now we're going to get a stair there stair there and then we're just going to get the half slab and just pretty much put in the middle of the spruce just like that i mean you can change the the edges around it if you want to wear uh, change it up and stuff you want to add like a bit more detail if you uh, know any colors that go well together but i kind of like the plain roof sometimes just makes it work you know so uh for this bit here let's see i'm gonna get some white wool i'm gonna put it all the way around here and then we can just put a little window there so what i'm gonna do for this bit i'm gonna get a piece of dirt i've got the grass block because i'm in creative we're gonna put that across the windowsill there 
And then from these points here, we're going to put those in and then we're going to get our spruce fence. That's going to go up to join to there. So that should join it on. And then we're going to get our half slab and we're going to get some of the wooden trap doors as well. So the half slab of the spruce planks. Put that across and then we just get these and put them across like that. And obviously we can fill it in and put our own little windows and stuff. And just to add an extra little bit of detail, we're just going to get these buttons and put them on at the side there. Just think it looks a little bit nicer. We could put them on these bits as well. Just like that. It's quite nice. So we're going to do the same at the other side. We're going to replicate. I'm going to speed it up. Right, so once we're done, it should look like that. I've just put glass window panes in each one at each side. So you can do that now if you'd like. So for this bit, what we, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm definitely going to get some white wool again, even though I threw it away. So we're getting some white wool. I am going to definitely use the spruce because this is going to the top. This is going up there as far as it goes and up there as far as it goes. And then we're just going to get one that goes all the way to the top as well. We're just going to fill these in with a white. And I think detailing it at the, at the bottom and then like leaving it kind of plain at the top it really makes it uh, stand out, I think. And it really makes the build look better. I'll show you from a distance. I mean, look at that. It really makes it pop, doesn't it? Like if you put too much detail in that I've found at the top. So obviously we can do it from here. So this is where we come in. We're going to have a doorway here. I'm just going to put two pieces of white here. And then we're just going to go straight up from this pillar. Straight up from there. Straight up from there. And uh, let's see. I mean, for this bit here, we can just put it straight across so it kind of keeps in with the design. And we can either put windows here, uh, which is not so bad. We can put windows or we can just keep it as the plain white. And then I'm thinking about just putting that straight through. I don't know why I put that there. So yeah, I'm probably going to do the windows just to let a little extra light in or something. But most, most of it we can uh, fill up with unnatural light anyway. So we'll just do that all the way up here. Yeah, I'm a bit reluctant to do these like longer tutorials because they do take me a long time to uh, upload, but you guys wanted one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our cobblestone wall. We're going to put a piece there, piece there. And I'm kind of inclined to put another piece there of the spruce. And then we're going to put that one there. So now we're going to get our spruce fence. I'm probably going to use some spruce slab for this, to be honest. So one, two, one, two. And for this, obviously one, two. So I'm just going to flatten it out like this. And then we're just going to put it so it goes over the top of these now. Just like that. Really simple, but I think it looks nice. So over this rooftop here now, we can just put something here. I'm just going to put a cobblestone there and that just as like a little added extra. If you want to add more details in, you can obviously have these coming out and stuff. Like if you want, it's just entirely up to you. Like how much detail you kind of want to put into it. Um, let's see. So, so far that's looking really nice at that side. We've obviously got these little corner bits to sort out. So we'll bring this one up in there. And at this side, we've got this one that we bring up to there also and this side here this is where we can just bring these up so bring that up there bring that up there and we can take out let's see for this pit part here and um, that white doesn't show anyway does it that white doesn't show that white doesn't show so we can bring these up to this point this i kind of want to put the pillars up here so they kind of join as well and then we can get a staircase in here so we get our spruce get the spruce going across there so it's kind of going onto the balcony and maybe put this up here with the spruce fence so let's let's see for this bit i want to see what it kind of will look like i kind of want to do this so we get another spruce and then bring this up so it joins there and then just fill that in with white so that filled in there and then just yeah the white wool there which I think will look really nice. And it just adds a little bit of depth and extra into the build. So obviously we can do it here as well. Just there and we'll see in this little bit here. Let's have a, we'll have a quick look what it looks like on the outside. I'm pretty sure it'll look 
all right. So yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I mean, even if you wanted to take that bit out, it doesn't really matter. Like, you could fill that in with uh, the spruce there, so it all like evens in, if you're a bit OCD about it. But on the inside, let's have a look. We can always cover those bits, but that, yeah, that's fine. We can have you spruce now for these bits, just as like little diff different bits to it. Yeah. Let's have a look, right. So that's looking really nice so far. I'm gonna leave another video for the interior. So far, looking pretty nice. I kind of like that. And I think it's quite a nice medieval build. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so for the roof, if you want, you can always add bushes and vines and you can always take piece, pieces out. Check this out. Get pieces out and get some of the bone meal if you want it a really like rustic sort of like feel to it. So just completely random and stuff like this. And as soon as it's covered in bushes and stuff, and get stuff like that and then obviously when you've got your vines and stuff and it's completely filled it really will give it that rustic sort of feel but for now i'm going to leave it like that but yeah guys if you did like this make sure you slap that like button and subscribe it really does mean a lot to me and it really does help my channel grow and uh, it's kind of like a thank you you know for giving you these tutorials so yeah look at that that's pretty all right that it's pretty simple Pretty simple medieval build, but yeah, I think uh, it's not too bad. So if you want to add extra tiny little details and stuff, you can always go around with the spruce and get some buttons and stuff and kind of just like level it up. So maybe you want some kind of spruce underneath here, maybe one underneath here, one underneath here. Do you know at each point you kind of go like this and there. So as you can see, and another one here. And then you can kind of like curl it in. You like curl it and try and make like different shapes in it and stuff like that. So you could have like one going this way, one going this way. And then just slowly integrate it up, you know. Just kind of like that and that. Just there's so many different extra points and extra details that you can kind of add into it and make it that little bit better. I mean over the roof as well. You can even have like a little bit over here. Maybe turn it round for this bit actually. And just keep it simple or you can have more complex you know you can add it a little bit extra like adding these little bits in here make it come out even more add some buttons you know maybe one at the top there as well for a little bit of detail so it's all up to you guys it's kind of like a plain template that you can kind of use to put your own sort of like spin on it so we obviously do the same here for these bits and it'd be one underneath there that bit but yeah, definitely slap that like button, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you comment down below if you do enjoy these tutorials, because uh, you know I don't get as many views on these bigger ones, even though they take a lot longer, so it really does help me out. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed, guys. Catch you later. Peace. I'm